Does your switchboard look like this, or this, or this? <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg Allen, Response Electrician, and your Master Electrician of the Year. And in this video, we're going to talk about the three main risks of having switchboards like this. Risk number one is if you have switchboards like this, it can be very expensive for you. Now the reason it can be expensive is because if you can't easily identify where a fault is on a fuse board or if you can't easily rewire your own fuses, then you're going to have to call up an electrician to come out and fix the problem. Now if you're getting charged per hour, which you normally would for fault finding, it can be very expensive and also it takes a lot more time to identify where the fault is for the electrician than it would a newer switchboard with circuit breakers and RCDs. Risk number two if you've got switchboards like this is there is a risk of fire from loose terminations in the fuse holders. Now what happens in buildings and on the earth all the time is there's these vibrations like this and it causes the screws to come loose and when the screws come loose there's arcing between the cable and the terminal. So what happens then is the arcing burns back up the cable and then it gets into all the other cables and then you just get this huge fire which gets sucked up the wall cavity into your roof and then, oh, I don't even want to go there. It's not good. So there's a risk of that with these old switchboards. And we see it all the time when there's burnt out fuses and burnt out terminals because of these loose terminations caused by fuse holders. Risk number three if you've got switchboards like this is these black panels here are often made of asbestos. Now if you've got a switchboard like this or like this that has RCDs retrofitted to the board, it's possibly because someone before has come and installed and drilled into the asbestos panel, causing these asbestos fibres to go loose. Now that is a risk in itself, but by removing that, you don't longer have this asbestos panel with loose fibres sitting in your switchboard. So in saying this, the benefit of upgrading to a new switchboard with circuit breakers and RCDs is the opposite of what we just talked about. So you're going to save a lot of money because you're going to be able to easily identify most faults when your power trips out and you say that's the circuit, you can easily isolate it, you can get your power back on, you can fault find your appliances using our videos on how to do that, and also you can save money by not having to call an electrician out to the job. The other benefit is that the loose terminations will be removed and when you get the upgrade, the terminals will be tightened really tight so there's no risk of loose termination fires in your switchboard. And say goodbye to that asbestos black panel in your old switchboard because that will be safely removed whenever you get a switchboard upgrade. If you found this video helpful, please share it with friends and family and comment below. I'd love to have a chat to you and let us know what you learnt in the video. I'm Greg Allen from Response Electricians, your Master Electrician of the Year.